going on. So this is a video that I was going to title Never Give Up, Never Surrender, um, but I decided to title it Why I Don't Think Toxic Works, um, because this is a video about why I don't think toxic works. Um, so the, whenever I create a tier list, um, I always state that, uh, that, that if you are going to build a toxic deck, like Frost is very strong, Meteor is very strong, uh, Minotaur is very strong. I always, uh, I always state that all of these cards at max level, you, you like are very strong, but you have to build all of them up to max level for the deck to even kind of be efficient, right? This is like the worst possible case scenario for this deck. So uh, let let look on the other side. He has a Necromancer that's a level five. Um, level 5 is already his first biggest detriment, um, but he has the Necromancer item, he has Mage Robes with a Counterspell, meaning that he can stun my stuff, um, he's using Sturdy Staff so that he obtains more mana, uh, his Minotaur obviously does Ancient Rampage, so he stuns 3 units every time he comes in, uh, he has Max Frost with Icy Breath, uh, the, uh, Ice Walk, which is happening right now, it, uh, destroys all of your trappers, um, he has Frost King, he has, uh, or the Frost King talent, uh, which, uh, stuns, uh, two things, or it stuns one thing, and then at, uh, rank three, uh, it stuns another thing, and then at rank six, it stuns a third thing. Um, he has Summoner on Curse of the Spirit, so every so often my, um, my mana cost is, uh, to summon in is higher. Uh, at, at the same time, he also has Icy Breath, so I don't gain mana. He also has a Witch that is not max level, um, so I don't have the Witch Tile on my field, but he does have Cruel Joke and Polymorph, um, and it's basically, it's just all the toxic stuff, right? I was gonna quit. I was very, very close to quitting this game. Um, there was a big part of me that was like, this is the worst case scenario for this deck. Um, because I need mana to obviously uh, power up Spirit Master, um, I need Trapper to deal additional damage. I need all of these things. Um, and, and then I was very stupidly using Mari, uh, when he was using, uh, when he would merge, uh, and he would, he would obtain the Icy Breath, and so off of my Mari token, I wasn't even gaining free mana whenever I had the chance to obtain free mana. Um, I just very stupidly used Mari token, or my Mari, this is, like, this kind of scenario right here, uh, my level 4 is Witched, um, I have just terrible, like, merges, uh, I, I have to eat basically all of this field, um, but I also have to keep this field because I want to survive. Basically everything on my field, like the two damage dealing spirit masters are now witched, uh, I'm gonna get puppeteered. Like there is no part of me that has the ability to set up. So you're asking yourself, why do I think uh, Toxic isn't that great? If I said all of this, and I win this. I'm gonna, spoiler alert, I win this game. Because at this point, I started to then realize, as a smart player, because most people would just be like, Oh, Necromancer, oh, this is just pay to win. Oh, he has a, he has a Max Minotaur, he has a Max Frost, he has a Max Summoner. Like, he has a, he has the Necromancer item, this is just pay to win, right? Most people would think like that. Most people would think, well, I'm clearly not gonna beat this deck. Like, I, I cannot create a setup, I cannot create, I can't get anything going, right? I realize around this moment that Minotaur doesn't do a lot of damage, and with at least 500 mana, I can, if I, if I Spirit Mastered my entire field, and just kept, like, one Chemist, maybe a Knight Statue, um, I was using Sharpen Spear, which is kind of wacky. I just wanted to try it. Um, and I thought that if I could just keep the one, like, uh, Sharpen Spear and fill the board with Spirit Masters, where at 500 uh, mana, I could just re-cleanse everything, like, with a 50% chance. It's why, it's one of the reasons why people use Spirit Master. 50% chance to cleanse negative effects with a, uh, a mana uh, investment of 500 or more. If I literally just filled my field with just Spirit Masters and just kept scrappering with no trappers, just a chemist and a, sh and a uh, knight statue, 
could I win? The answer is yes. Um, because Minotaur can't do infinite damage. If it can't kill you early on in the game, the longer the game goes, it doesn't have a strategy. Like, Frost is not adding damage to the Minotaur. Summoner is kind of technically adding damage to the Minotaur, which is not adding damage to the Minotaur, and Harley Quinn certainly isn't adding damage to the Minotaur. And this is, uh, this is obviously because he doesn't have a higher level Necromancer, but that's also my second point. My second point is he has a max Minotaur, max Frost, max Summoner, and I'm still here telling you he probably needs a max Witch in order for the Witch effect to be better, because when he witched my, um, my, my two monsters on the field that were dealing damage and he still isn't winning that round, he, he still didn't kill me in that, um, in that wave. The fact that I was still able to deal enough damage to survive and then continue and then cleanse and then, you know, like recover is crazy. The fact that he's using, um, the ice walk ability so that I have to disregard all of my trappers because all of my trappers traps are always going to be just um, instantly refreshed. Um, but the fact that he doesn't have a max witch, the fact that he doesn't have a higher level necromancer, these are all detriments to this deck. And if you have a lesser minotaur, if you have a lesser frost, if you don't have the frost king ability, if you don't have the minotaur at max, which is your main damage dealer, if you don't have all of these things maxed, it's not a good deck. And even at the max levels that he has, it still doesn't beat me. And I feel like of all the decks to beat, this is probably the deck that you beat. Um, so yeah, I basically just uh, eat everything that's a trapper, a knight statue, um, or any chemists, and I basically just try to keep as many spirit masters on the field, and then I just scrapper the whole game. Um, and then anything above 500, um, a 500 mana investment into my spirit master, I can free cleanse my entire board. Just at, at will. And so even though all of these are getting locked on the outside, I have enough on the inside to keep me alive, and then I can basically nuke down bosses. I can't tell you, like, how quickly I thought to quit this game. And I just stayed in it, and eventually I win. If Toxic can't do... Like, if it can't kill me with all of the things that are happening over there, with as many cards as he has maxed, and if it still can't kill me without a max necromancer and a max witch, you have to have that and that and a max summoner and a max uh, frost and a max minotaur. You have to have all of these things because if you have any lesser of a deck, it doesn't work.